The future has been depicted countless times in literature, in film, the visual arts, music, and even architecture. And although it's a lot of fun to conjure images of flying palaces or homes that can time travel, let's keep our imaginations grounded a bit. Modern Living TV gives you a peek on what homes in the future might actually look like. As this generation goes deeper into the future, so do Filipino homes in terms of architecture. Keep up with the times. And today to speak about modern homes is Jason Buensalido, Principal Architect of Buensalido and Architects, one of the leading firms in creating futuristic designs. The thrust of the firm is really to uplift the design profile of the Philippines through contemporary ideas, through progressive ideas, while reinterpreting or reabstracting what it means to be to have Philippine architecture. When Salido and architects create the feel of the future in the comfort of your own home, their concept of modern does not mean trendy. We don't want our house designs or any sort of uh, building type for that matter to fall under any trend because if it's a trend then therefore in five years or in seven years the profile will move on. So if you talk about the house design, you want it to be timeless. We first understand the context, climate, budget, client's taste, personality of the client, preferences, so on and so forth, even before we come up with the design. And there's no one perfect design to any kind of uh, design problem. But whatever it is, whatever we propose, it's always a response to context. So what exactly does a modern home look like? First is that we base all of our proposals on responsive vernacular models. Though it is also based on the Bahay Kubo and the Bahay Nabato, we use more modern materials while maintaining the essence of those two vernacular models, the essences of cross-ventilation, the essence of open spaces to encourage family interaction to occur within your living spaces. Second is that I think optimism should be reflected in our structure. We're known to be one of the happiest people in the world. There's always positivity. And that again has to be reflected in our architecture through vibrant interiors, by very festive spaces also. The third point of Filipino architecture and uh, design for us is the idea of personalization and uh, participation. For architect Bonsalido, it's more of the spirit behind the designs that make structures modern and reflective of Filipino culture. If you talk about the spirit of the Filipino and trying to reflect it in your spaces, then it becomes timeless and everlasting because that's who we are. And your identity is longer than any kind of trend. Our personalities as a people has become very complex because we have had a lot of influences from all over the world. That becomes our strength as Filipinos. So that has to be reflected in our spaces and our architecture as well. One good example of a modern home is the firm's winning entry to the Ang Pinakamagandang Bahay sa Balat ng Lupa a competition in 2009. The brief for that competition was that it had to be very affordable. During that time, in the year 2007, the brief was it had to cost only about a million. It had to be adaptable to the Filipino family to be able to expand when your family grows and contract when you eventually become an empty nester. So how do you do that? Um, it had to be able to also withstand uh, the changing climate. It had to be storm-proof. Um, and lastly, it had to address the idea of beauty. We lifted it to be on stilts, just like a Bahay Kubo, just like a Bahay Nabato, so that when you expand, you don't have to move out of a bungalow, for example, just to take out the roof, expand the columns, put a second floor, and then that's the only time you can move back in. For our design model, you can actually stay on the second floor of your house while the house is being expanded by tilting up the walls on the ground floor right beneath you. So those are all um, sort of addressed. And in closing, Architect Buensalido shares with us tips on how to future-proof our home. So when you plan your house in terms of space, in terms of finishes, it has to be future-proof in the sense that it will allow future changes. So for example, by coming up with flexible walls, walls that disappear, that enclose, 
spaces that open up spaces to each other that's one way of uh, future proofing the house because you allow expansions to occur you allow different rooms to be combined second is to make sure that you keep your houses warm in terms of the spatial quality in terms also of the visual aesthetic modern homes or contemporary homes have a tendency to be too cold or too edgy but if you use warm materials and natural materials like stone wood combine it with nice lighting combine it with nice natural lighting during the day then it can wash a certain kind of quality on your space that makes it very warm to come home to every day